quick uh, introduction. Uh, we're here today to talk about the completion of the first phase of the uh, work being done on what will happen with the University of Art and Design campus and then more uh, inclusively the district surrounding it. And uh, I think we all know just for context how important this project is and, and how central the opportunity is. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity for the city uh, and for the people in Santa Fe. If you look at some of the issues that are in front of us going forward, we have concerns in Santa Fe about uh, economic development and jobs, housing, uh, education. We are committed to sustainability and the environment. Uh, we're in, committed to inclusivity. Uh, we want to attract and keep young people in Santa Fe. Uh, and if you look at this uh, site and the district that surrounds it, St. Mike's and more, this is a tremendous opportunity to address all of those opportunities, all of those needs in one project. This report um, gives us the guidelines of how we want to move forward. We had a lot of public input on this. This was, um, now we're moving, now we have the concept and we're ready to go from the concept and conceptually into the actual planning stage. And this report gives us the actual guidelines of the information that we collected from the community, the uh, what people want to see on this campus, the methods that they want this to happen in, and now we're actually um, ready to move forward and through this resolution um, hire some consultants through some RFPs uh, to go ahead and plan for the land use that's in front of us. I don't think that it can be emphasized too much what the mayor said that um, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity and um, every we've asked everyone to participate and that information um, has been taken all kinds of different ways that we collected that but these guidelines are the real culmination of all of that information that we've collected and what people would like to see happen on that campus. Now it's up to us to bring together a land use plan for how we get to that end. The resolution asks the governing body to do two things. It asks us to ask the governing body to number one, accept the report that has been created regarding this uh, engagement process. Um, it's a very large report with a lot of detail in it, which wouldn't be appropriate to go into here, but you all have it. Read through it. If you have questions, by all means, contact me or Matt Brown and you can walk you through that. And then the second thing the, the resolution asks is that the council adopt this set of guidelines for moving forward. 